Hello, good morning, Barcelona. How are you? Fine? So it's okay. Okay. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much uh, for attending your session. Okay, we're a delight to be here with you today. Okay. So, uh, what? A moment. No está conectado. Okay. So, my name is Manuel Sánchez. I am technical manager Azure Evangelist and Entity Data. I'm Microsoft uh, Azure MVP for uh, the last four years. Um, I hit of the technical um, uh, owner for the Azure in Entity Data in Neal. Okay. And my friend Tema. Hello, everyone. I'm Tema Gonzalez Balseiro. I work in IT segment for 20 years and a lot of technologies and the last few years in Azure and cloud providers and I'm working in, <laughs> in Entity Data with Manu as Azure Evangelist to assess uh, companies or clients to transformation to cloud and secure all, securize all applications. Yeah. Uh, entity Data is a part of Entity uh, Group, okay? It's a trusted global innovation IT providers and business service uh, headquartered in Tokyo. Uh, we help clients uh, transfer through consulting, and industry solution, and business process service. Uh, IT modernization and management service, okay? Um, entity Data enable clients as well as society. Uh, to move uh, confidentially into the digital futures. Uh, we are committed to our clients, okay? So long term, success and combined global reach uh, with local client attention to serve the in over 50 countries, okay? So in this case, it's a specialist in cloud, okay? Uh, talk about uh, the last uh, uh, today, okay, in the stand or uh, after of the session, okay? So today talk about for the DevSecOps, Okay, um, every company wants to digital transformation. Um, app modernization drives 90% of new digital initiatives powering uh, the new experience. Okay, so we see organization reappearing, real, tangible benefits. The positive outcomes are truly amazing. Customers have by now realized that their future success does depend on making this transition on Sussex, okay? In our recent study, 91% of the business lead uh, see digital transformation as a way of sparking innovation and finding efficiency for their organization. So uh, with Microsoft Azure, uh, is possibility. So the developer po uh, velocity is very important. Um, tools for development, okay? So different tools and different frameworks is necessary for advance, for more agile, for more security, and different aspects. So developer collaboratory and security for the cloud, as we continue to adapt to our remote uh, and hybrid work environment, collaboration and security remain top of mind. Our goal uh, to, is to enable developers to code and collaborate um, shit from anywhere by combining open source, practice, and libraries with an end-to-end -end developer platform without compromised security. So with, for example, Visual Studio Code and GitHub and Azure, your teams uh, can build up from anywhere with cloud-powered development environment and collaborate uh, smoothly from anywhere with tools that enable uh, distribute framework and securely sheet from anywhere with fully, okay? So the develop collaborative and security for the cloud, integrate services and tools um, that enable teams uh, to maintain and confident in security despite remote, for example, um, as, we, as we continue to adapt to a remote and a hybrid work environment. Uh, collaborations and security remain top of mind. 
uh, our goal is to enable uh, developers to code, okay? Uh, collaborate and sheet from anywhere by combining open source practice. So, uh, modernized software delivery, DevSecOf on Azure, DevOps and GitHub on Azure, with the most compressibility tool chain, uh, help you plan smarter collaborators better and ship faster using end-to-end -end solutions a uh, team can implement. And DevOps practice during using uh, application insights and development, delivery, and operation is the most important focus with you development in the code on supervisor for the product, final release product, okay? Uh, apply the right uh, combination of DevOps technology and culture and processes to enable continuous software uh, delivery and better value for customers, okay? Our developer tools at high speed rate, I did I design uh, to support every language, every platform, and for every developer. We actively embrace and infuse the last technology and emerging trend into a tool such as an AI assistant for, you know, for uh, Copilot, using Copilot? No? Yes? Okay. That, for example, is the, uh, uh, the big uh, case, no, for the uh, AI. Uh, effective collaboration is the biggest acceleration in helping them be more productive and satisfied by empowering a uh, developer in your organization with GitHub. You can both attract and retain on the best talent. GitHub also a unique offer to end-to-end -end approach of security from origination and the open source project to the deploy color and, and your production environment. Automating deploy process and app telemetry and diagnostic and alerting improve the agile of software delivery and safe. Your time and money is very important for the prepare you know, and the make of the product. And you can also leverage or depth test offer to get the pricing for Microsoft workloads or in Azure. Okay. Gemma? What? what is Teletras? Teletras is a model framework, but not only is a model of framework, there are some studies about the uh, standards in the organization, what is, uh, what define the DAS model. For example, uh, Zero Trust is a strategy that your company can, can uh, apply in, for example, in corporate firewall, we, we go to or we always think, well, this is my firewall, this is my company's resources, and all is safe, but not is safe. Assumes every, every request to the, your business, your application, is a potential breach. So you need to verify. The verify the request, the potential, and what is the network that in originates that request. Regardless, the request originates, or the web resource is accesses. Zero trust teaches us the never trust, always verify. Every access request is fully authenticated, authorized, and encrypted in to end. It's for guaranteeing the great access. Micro segmentation bring us the last privileged access and applies to minimize lateral movements. Rights intelligence analytics are used and respond to anomalies in real time. But we have three big principles in Zero Trust. Verify explicitly, always authenticate out the days based on available data points. For example, we are a user and we try to connect to our organization. Don't identify user, location, device health, service, 
the data is critical. If, for example, this user always trying to view this data as your usual, usual work, you can access to data. But, for example, another user, you can try to see the financial reports of the company, you can block this access. Use the last privilege access, limit users with just time, just in time, and just enough access. Adaptive policies and data protections to help secure both and the productivity. And the last one is assume you have a bridge, always. Your application has nuggets components, libraries of 30, uh, this library is, has zero days and vulnerabilities we can need to resolve to parts. And for prevent this, this uh, vulnerabilities, we need segmentation network with user device, dApps, verify, verify all the sessions, encrypt all the data, and use analytics for view what kind of data we're trying to access for detect and improve our of defense. Zero Trust has components. That components are security entities with Zero Trust. Identities represents people, but not only that people. Her devices, her data, uh, IoT devices. Uh, is a control plane about the user. When identity attempts to access to a one resource, it's always the same. Verify that identity with strong identification, ensure the access, if compilant and typical, and the last privilege is we don't know if the that can use it can bring this data, block this access. Secure endpoints with zero trust. Once an identity has been created to a resource, a data flow for variety of different endpoints, OIT devices, smartphones, bring or devices, partner manager, 30 services, everything we can need to. This diversity create a massive attack with surface area. Monitor and force the white health and compilance all this data for improve of security. Secure applications with Zero Trust applications is all the applications, front end, APIs, event drivers, every architecture in cloud based, on prem based is, is a, maybe can a bridge of security and you need to apply the controls and technologies to discover the shadow. The shadow is the hacker attack, for example. And should the permissions, the gate access, if you have different access to your application, for example, if you have a landing page in, in Azure, you have two, two typical access. One is one perimeter for all internet traffic, another for on-premise traffic is you can verify this kind of traffic and validate the configuration for access to the closed services. Uh, ultimate, the security teams are protecting data. Where possible, data should we remain safe. But the infrastructure and network organizations, we need controls, classify, tax, encrypt, restrict, and infrastructure if you have on-prem services, cloud-based, VM, containers, microservices, or whatever else, you access for versions, configuration, just-in-time access for hardware defense, use telemetry for detect attacks, anomalies, and automatic block a flag risky behavior. And this is... Uh, can beha this behavior, can you bring to have uh, action no? for defend this attack, this attack. The networks is over infrastructure. The networking controls provide critical controls to enhance visibility to help present attackers. 
moving laterally across the network, segment the networks for your applications and your business is better for us. Well, Madrid model. There are three types of um, states in this model. Well, traditional with all companies has in on-prem, the advanced is the, the medium hybrid cloud for services on-prem and, and other cloud bases and, and optimal. Normally, if for identify all the com traditional companies with the services on-prem, we don't have a ECCO to um, present between the cloud and all on-prem services. On, it's only your identifies is in your domain and not based in other platforms, co providers, or third parties. When the budget identity is for conditional services policies, for uh, have begun to, in a budget, have begun the, just the zero trust journey and make a progress in a few areas. An optimal organization is the better, no? is the better, but it's not the latest stage because the, you have a large improvement in your security, but uh, have micro cloud perimeter, perimeters and micro segmentation, encryption, but the real time analytics uh, reveal if you have an attack, you can need to improve your security and making cloud security policies for sharing and segmenting, segmenting your, your, your traffic for your data. Well, in with the devices, in the devices, uh, devices in the, in the domain are, are the same. Uh, your company gives you your device, is inside the, your, the domain, you have an internet access, but uh, it's maybe it's the traffic is about the proxy and all communications between that network to the internet is is dropped. When you have an an organization, the access only granted to cloud management and compliance devices. This is when you have your bring your device, you can connect to your company, but you don't have dropped the internet traffic and go to another maybe web that you can have a malware or, or an attack or maybe an, an feature attack. And the optimal organization, all devices are granted, yes, is your bring on your or bring your or device or the company device. For the apps, it's the same. The apps only have an, a VPN and only you can reach this application in your, in your company if you have a VPN software and connect to the, to the network of the company and pass the firewall of that company. <clears throat> in, una, in one advanced company, you have an SSO integrated with the cloud provider and your own place, such as Azure Active Directory. Every now, Azure Active Directory. Yeah. And, and that has some risks, and you can bring this risk and have a good monitations, have good monitoring of these apps and be controlled. And the optimal organization, all applications is online, it's, all, it's possible to connect to this application with your own user domain, with a customer domain, a third party domain, and you have a dynamic, a dynamic control place to bring your security for your for your app because your app is segmented. In infrastructure, there is the same. 
you have your servers with your, uh, your Active Directory to manage your users, and groups for admins and another kinds of permission, permission for the user. And this user can be reach your virtual machines or servers if you have an admin or is are only, for example, for uh, service IT to deploy a, a parts to this ISO system. Uh, British system, but in a personal organization, it's a match. Everything, everything up is identified that you can you can access to this app just in time. That means that if uh, I include your your user in a user group, for example, in Azure Active Directory, you can have access to that application if the users is, the, is this group have permissions to access to this application in real time. And the optimal organization has uh, access, access segmentation for this application. It has many levels for application, authorized deployments, and alerts, and, and other kinds of things in, in this inference state. And the last one is the network. The network is only that you need the perimeters of your network. It's only your, your firewall. Maybe you have a Cisco, another kind of firewall with a proxy and a big scale infrastructure in your prems. But it's only internal traffic. You can. You, you, you need to go to the outside or the user or the customers goes to, to the applica to application. In advanced application, it's, it's now time for AKAs, no? <laughs> Everything, organization deploy AKAs with many ingress and egress cloud traffic with the implementing with HAPAM spoke architecture with you can bring and segment all the traffic with road tables and other kind of things, but then that traffic is all encrypted, or you need to encrypt this traffic into it. And the optimal organization has a match. Using machine learning and artificial intelligence to detect threats, protections, filtering context, and have some signals in the network access to create your custom alerts in your model. And the data, the data, this more precision for our company, the data to make the, our business, is only governed in one side for traditionals. To have sensitive levels are applied autom automatically. Within consensus data classification, how many companies has working in how many people working in a company that, that has the data not labeled or not segmented for your, your proper for your benefit. And the budget data is classified and labeled via regex, cables for the business and have different access for business decisions and government and encryption. And the optimal has access decisions by closed security, policies and giants, the planet in nature or another cloud provider, and sharing this encryption with taking daily policies. This is a typical flat network. This flat network uh, at the bottom, we have managed corporate device, servers, and IoT device, and this uh, printers, everything you need to bring your, all, your business all protected by a firewall that connects us to the internet. Through the internet, we have access to third parties, whatever they are, storage services as, as Dropbox, or cloud providers like Azure and others, and also, your own devices, we can connect to the service or company or the third party services. But 
when you can apply that zero trust principles, starting with network security segmentation. We see that we have a two differences between devices that we have validated and verified, and it's also connected to our network and your bring all devices and have many have maybe that sponsored access. We must also validate the resource access because all devices have to access to the internet and corporate resources at the same time. But the most important thing is the segmentation of services, the part of the business. We can highlight three areas, the local impact area, the medium area, or high impact, and critical. When our zero trust model matures, we have ability to manage, manage segmentation by policies and ensure differentiation when the traffic goes on to our business or network. That it identifies different types to connect to our network. These are the strongly managed, the strongly managed main identities that will be a multi-factor, as such as admin or advanced user, or domain users or providers, and finally, anonymous users. We will have segmentation of this. But we have another segmentation, that the, the devices that bring your old devices and the company devices and the internet providers, such as managed services as Office 365 and those management cloud providers on brands and on management. In the later, we will perform the three potation and monitoring this improve to the security. <clears throat> well, so DevSecOps in Azure, okay, automation workflow and from code to any cloud is GitHub for provider for the different tools and you need for the uh, developer velocity. It's incremental and agile for the different tools, no? So for um, a repository and test team, um, a release, um, analyze for your code, um, more important, they have a secret, okay? So um, we invest in build um, in security control uh, across layers. Uh, our identity and access management tools uh, enable you to um, able uh, to take an identity-based uh, approach to security and establish truly condition uh, and access policies. Okay, uh, our, AP, uh, our app and data security help you protect and your apps and your uh, data at its move around uh, both inside and outside your organization. It's very important supervisor and insights for the, uh, the information uh, transfer. Okay. Um, network security, uh, stably secure uh, connection to our within uh, Azure uh, using virtual network, um, security groups, NCH, VPN, Express Route. Okay, it's the different options. Um, protect and ensure availability uh, of your apps. Protect again. Uh, network, uh, layer three with the services, um, light web application uh, firewall or Azure firewall or Azure DDoS uh, protection, or for example, in this, uh, in case, for example, in, in AP, uh, AP management or application gateway, okay, uh, is the best option. So uh, the three protection, uh, security entry organizer from the three with Azure Sentinel and uh, cloud, uh, Azure Cloud Security uh, framework and uh, Cloud for All. Okay, so the different uh, tools with the native CM, um, security information and event management uh, provider for Azure. Okay, so that is scale and you, uh, to you need and can be accessed from anywhere. <coughs> 
Um, modernized software delivery and Azure Monitor get fully management uh, native monitoring uh, functionality for you. Uh, for example, in this is Java Option, okay, Java Workloads on Azure, and including application performance monitor, APM. Okay. Um, so Azure Monitor Application Insights is very important because you uh, put the data and store it on different options okay, and exploring for the data. Um, quickly identify and troubleshooting issues with your distributed uh, hub application in this case and through combining end to end and infrastructure monitoring, network connectivity, monitoring and analytics uh, capabilities. Take advantage of live metrics segmentation and live metrics streaming, uh, request rate and response time tracking and event tracking and external dependency rate. So um, everything you need to monitor the, the available, available um, performance, reliability, and usage of your web application on Azure or on on-premise. Okay, strong support for Spring. Okay, in Azure. And the framework like Micrometer and Spring Boot, and native integration with other Azure services, for example, Kubernetes services, workload, for example, for example, is uh, included of the uh, native out of the box telemetry, okay, and insight, end-to-end um, -end Java monitoring between APM and virtual machine storage um, database trigger. Um, packet capture, um, diagnosis, routine issues, analysis, network security group flow logs. Okay, um, based your goal pricing, and unlike traditional Java APM uh, tool with application inside, you pay only for the data you in ingest. Okay, it's only paid for um, for use. Okay. Um, in the example for the modernized software delivery, uh, GitHub and Azure DevOps pipeline release management intend to not only support grouping of uh, secrets for DevOps, okay, uh, a scenario, uh, but also enable persistence of the in Azure keyboard uh, so they can use by application at runtime. By extending this concept uh, to support per environment value for the same secret name, uh, we both reduce over, over here and allow developer to reuse okay, uh, the same secret name in any template and application code. Every end template, biceps, Terraform, anything. Okay? Um, uh, templates for the ap application code, um, folder it, allow management, both the secrets and non secrets, config value and unified interface. Okay? Is the, a typical solution architect for in, in explain for the different aspects for security. And um, uh, in this case, is in the application in Active Directory with your authentication with the Active, uh, Azure Active Directory if you integrate native for the different service with, for example, Azure DevOps, GitHub, okay, and you prepare for the share with, the, for example, uh, service principal. Okay, you prepare for the service principal, service principal user, uh, non necessary user registered in, in your Active Directory with mandatory on your um, security advisor because service principal, you prepare for the um, finally secret, okay, you determine for the date. So it's connectivity with the Azure policies and all time is reviewed for your platform. It's mandatory, and you practically apply policies, okay, and control for the automation on the different aspect. So, and then finally, it's um, a networking connectivity with the Azure Private Link or a firewall. It depends for the both what you workload, okay, it's in the mandatory, it's the private lead, or you public, it depends or isolate, okay? And your uh, application authentication with the secret is consulting with the Azure cable. Um, uh, go with the uh, Kubernetes services or the application service, or in this case, in demo, is uh, with container apps, okay? So now in demo, okay? 
One moment. Okay. And now it's a development application with a dapper, okay, is uh, one application, uh, 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 okay, uh, t uh, three, uh, two, sorry, uh, two minimal APIs with the minimal APIs is inspired for the Avengers, <laughs> okay. So in the minimal APIs is return in get for the mission for the Avengers. Um, this uh, using with the tupper, uh, okay, with the only uh, using both, okay, for the generation for Loren Imsu. <laughs> so, and consumption with the um, Blazor app, okay, um, Blazor app with the tupper um, client. So, two, two client missions and payment, okay, and connectivity on the page traditional in, in Razor, okay, so all is get mission, okay. Um, running Dapper with payment, um, missions, and the app, okay. And now it's in Dapper control, okay, it's a avenue, it's okay, so now it's okay. Um, now it's welcome Avengers, okay, it's it's okay, it's an application with the blazer, okay, who leads hungry <laughs> for food. And the mission it's uh, get for the two microservices, okay? This good scenario. But in Azure, uh, different methods for deployment, but in this case and uh, deployment with the uh, container apps. Container apps is you do not need a complex seed, um, of Kubernetes service because yeah. you don't need to configuration the security of the combination with ingress or negress policies, road tables. You only need that it's all managed and you only need the ingress policy that is you need to map the port of this of your application to the containers port in yeah. You, in the services. You determine for the different uh, containers, okay? You focus only for development and your business, okay? You don't need for complexity, for configuration for the Kubernetes cluster, okay? So, um, in, you, thi in this case, we, yeah. we use Bithep because uh, other providers such as Terraform don't have no. the <laughs> provider of container apps. For yeah, container apps is in preview for Terraform, and now it's only support for Biceps, but in the next month or the next two months, it's okay for in Terraform infrastructure, okay? Yeah. So, in this Biceps is only infrastructure, okay? Um, I have a pipeline, okay? And the pipeline is a different aspect for one repository in public repository, okay? So, it's, it's this, Avengers, Dapper Container Apps, okay? Um, sorry. And in this for the three stage, okay, is uh, stage one for provisioning, and stage two uh, build, and stage three is deployment, okay. In the provisioning only is uh, provisioning infrastructure, okay, only is the uh, BSET script, and the build is security um, you, you prepare for the a different uh, path with the you code. You build a container to deploy to the container apps. Yeah. With the deployment in the GitHub actions. If yes. you have a GitHub uh, enterprise, there is a good uh, product or amazing product, uh, GitHub Advanced Security. This is the plugin in your in your code. It's a boat, it has chatbot on copilot as the same. Yeah. You can enable this in the enterprise subscription and automatically uh, get the dependencies of your product, check the vulnerabilities, and inform you with an alert of uh, your Nugget packets. <coughs> you tell soft, has a vulnerability and you need to update. But you not only has that update, 
of your alert is you can configure it to deploy the new version of Nugget and rebuild your application with the new Nugget version. It's amazing. Yeah. So you comp uh, share a secret with the two methods, OK? You prepare for the native in GitHub, this in native and secret GitHub secrets for inaction on code space or on dependent bot. It you depend for you both with your workload on you uh, using with the key vault, OK? It's two methods for the native um, um, super for Azure, OK? Um, in this application, uh, it's a blowout for yesterday because it now is the bad regular networking. <laughs> What's um, the Yeah, it's a provider, okay, for the resource group with the different resource and service necessary for for update with the with in Azure, okay, container registry with the three image and, co and build with the Azure. Uh, repository in the GitHub repository, sorry. So um, continuous deployment is your configuration with the you using uh, GitHub or you using for the different provider, for example, um, I don't know, <laughs> and Azure DevOps or Docker Hub or the different image, okay? Um, finally, it's uh, the missions, for example, is the API, okay? It's a, a Kubernetes cluster, you don't need and you in the app container apps is application URL, okay? Uh, you personalize, uh, personalize in this uh, service, okay? You customer domain, if you're not necessary for the domain this. Um, this is a mission, okay? And the... For, for example, in the container apps, yeah. the, we have a, a typical... Uh, Container apps environment, but it's only created but in runtime. What you create the container app environment and a single container app, you don't you don't bring to change that environment. You need to delete the environment and create another one if this environment is not well configured to security reasons or maybe the custom name and other things you you need. Okay, you share for the different application with only end-to-end -end security, but you use for the secrets, okay? You don't need for the um, password or the URLs, for example, database or even hub or the storage, okay? It's not public. It's you using for the different tooling we use for um, uh, deployment for, you, for your work, okay? For your workload. Um, it is time, no, it's finally, um, it's no, I, I don't know, it's, um, two minutes, two minutes, no, okay, so, two minutes, no, and different resource for tool sets and the uh, manual for the different aspect for the season, okay, the, the, the session. Um, a recommendation for, for the tool set with the different aspect for the bolts and GitHub. All is in our repository, and this one, the Zero Trust Assessment Tool, is very well tool for you need to know if how much you implemented in your organization the Zero Trust model in deployment, security, and network segmentation. It's a very, very, very. Okay. Um, any question? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, we have, we have some of those. You probably expect those, but let's see, let's see what you have to say. Um, yesterday, of course, we saw HashiCorp presenting Bolt, yeah. and you are presenting the Azure model, right? And I guess that's a question you get as part of your job, right? <laughs> um, what would no, you say is better uh, in terms of Azure compared to Bolt? How would you compare those two solutions? What would you recommend in different scenarios? It's no problem. It's uh, between. It's integrated with the HashiCorp Ball or HashiCorp solution with the Azure solution. It's implement, um, for example, day a day. Okay, work with the Terraform. Okay, it's the best solution for the um, public with you infrastructure as a code. Okay, it's no no problem. And the secret, uh, for example, in Azure Key Ball is native integration, but you use uh, HashiCorp Bolt. It's okay, HashiCorp Ball is solution for the native for HashiCorp, but it's in 
the solution for Azure is, for example, use, using for the private link and private endpoint, if you exit with the Azure, is you non-native for the aspect for uh, HashiCorp, okay? So, but this integration is no problem. So it's just another piece to maintain, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what about, I guess, you know, at least myself, I'm very bad at Azure. Like, how would all this compare to the AWS offering? I guess that's a question you get from clients all the time. So, or like, well, it's a completely different world, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It depends. So say, say a client comes and say, why should I go with Azure instead of AWS in terms of security? Well, <laughs> yeah, I know it's, it's a bit of a big question. Depends for the for, for workload, but it's... it's if we're trying to get the, this offer in Azure, we don't are not as an expert in 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 yeah. AWS. But maybe a, a lot of things is the same, or such with another names, mm -hmm. for example, the key yeah. or and other things. Mm. You need to get the architecture and replace the components in AWS. <laughs> And probably a good account manager to get this done, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, a final one, because we're running out of time. Um, imagine you are like a not, not so big company that is doing, let's say, old school security, right? And they want to start implementing all this. Uh, any advice or where to start? Like maybe show some of the recent fuck ups that have been in the world. I recommend, like, a recommendation for the in Azure, right? Two frameworks is Azure Cloud Adoption Framework, Azure uh, Well Architecture Framework. I revision for the different aspect and the bullet point with the focus in security. This be, we have a uh, overview for the different aspect is the easy model. Okay, so it's the migration and adapt for the solution in on-prem and to cloud is very very easy. And, and the most important is to, is the data, the data yeah. of your business. <laughs> if you have, uh, you need to segmentation your data about the, these three levels: low, high, and critical for your business. Yeah. For apply the Zero Trust framework. Perfect. Okay, well, thank you very much, and please, another round of applause to these two folks. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.